Hi, my name is Brad. I'm starting a web series called What I Want to Eat Right Now. I love to eat and I love to cook. Come along for the journey with me. I subscribe to about 150 or 200 food blogs and I regularly scour Pinterest for interesting looking food to cook and eat. And this will be a really good opportunity for you to sort of get into some interesting things without having to do a lot of work. And it's sort of, if you sort of look at it, it's like a modern day Julia versus Ju Julia and Julia. I'm not cooking everything from any one book, but I take you on a tour of a lot of different really interesting food blogs. Most of them are sort of healthy because I happen to be a healthy eater, but they're all really great and you'll have a really good time and join the ride. So today, for the first thing I'm going to start off with is a white carrot souffle. Now I know most people are sort of saying souffle, oh my god, how am I going to make that? But white carrot souffle is a really easy thing. If you have a food processor, it's really, really easy. I'm going to show you how. And if not, you can do this all by hand as well, and it won't be traumatic. For this souffle, you don't have to separate the yolks and the whites, and it'll be really easy, you'll see. So what I have here is two pounds of white carrots, which I've chunked, I've cut into about one inch discs, and I've cooked until a fork, until a knife went through them and they're a little bit sort of fork tender. The knife goes through easily. Okay, to that I'm gonna add, and I put that, that there's two pounds here. To that I'm gonna add six tablespoons of uh, unsalted butter. Now, you could do this with, with coconut oil or you could do it with um, canola oil if you didn't want to use the butter, but butter makes it taste great. And to that I'm going to add a nice pinch of salt. And I'm going to process that until it becomes a nice chunky, a nice good puree. Okay, so if you put in the butter while the carrots are still warm, the butter will melt and it'll actually it'll, uh, melt really easily. As I said, I'm pureeing the carrots now with the butter. This souffle is really, white carrots have a really nice mild, mild, mild flavor. They're not really, um, they're not as strong as yellow car or orange carrots and they have a really, like I said, it's really it's sweet and it's mild and it works perfectly in the souffle. So I'm gonna let that uh, process for about a minute or two until it really all gets into a really great puree. It'll be a nice kind of thick puree, but it'll be really uh, kind of velvety. Great for about two minutes, and now we're gonna add two thirds of a cup of sugar. And in this case, I'm, I usually normally like to use uh, coconut sugar. In this instance, because <coughs> Because it's white carrot, I want to keep it white so it keeps the, the color of the carrot. If I use coconut sugar, it would change it kind of a, uh, a caramely color. So I'm going to add process just until that sugar gets incorporated. Then I'm going to add six tablespoons of flour. And if you want to add gluten-free flour, you certainly can. Um, the flour is really just using is here to thicken it a bit. Okay, and to that I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. One. Again, just process until it's incorporated. Okay. Um, and I suggest also scraping down the sides and the center just to make sure everything gets nicely incorporated in there. Okay, now we're going to add six room temperature eggs. The eggs are going to go in one at a time. After each egg, it's going to be processed for a bit just to make sure it gets nicely incorporated. Okay. Also, you want to do it one at a time just because it's going to be pretty warm in there. And you want to incorporate the eggs so that they don't get uh, cooked instantly. Okay. Egg number one. Egg number two. Oopsie doopsie. Okay, 
So everything's been incorporated. I'm now going to put it in a, for me, this is what I, I use this as a souffle dish. It's just a, a glass baking, a Pyrex baking bowl that I've uh, buttered and uh, prepared to sort of go into the oven. And you do this really easy. I would use the spatula to hold down the bottom of the, the blade of the processor and let all of this luscious carrot mixture come flowing out. And get all that out. And this is going to go into a preheated 350 degree oven for an hour and 15 minutes, 75 minutes. So, and we'll see. Keep an eye on it, and it's going to look really beautiful. If you time it so that you're eating at the time that it comes out, you'll see that it has risen and it looks absolutely incredible. If you don't, you can always sort of keep it in the oven warming at about 250 or 275 and it'll stay, should stay uh, risen. And if not, it still is really great cold too. It's really, it's such, people will think it's just like one of the greatest um, things they've, they've had. I always get compliments when I make this and it's really, really fantastic. Okay, so I've taken everything out of the food processor. I poured it into this glass Pyrex bowl that I've buttered. And it's now going to go into a 350 degree oven for an hour and 15 minutes. Clay is done. I mean, doesn't that look amazing? I mean, it looks, it's like nicely caramelized on the top. It's, it's just got a little bit of a crack. Um, it looks really great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let it cool. And then you can just use a big spoon and scoop it. And it is absolutely divine. We're going to taste it in a few minutes, but I'm going to let it cool. now. Again, as I said, if you want to keep this um, risen and you're not ready to serve it yet, just keep it in a like 200, 250, 275 oven and it'll stay sort of risen. If not, if you leave it out and, and it starts cooling, it's going to sink. So you could serve it really warm. I'd, let, I'd serve it like maybe a little bit. It's a little hot when, you, when it comes out, but it's, the smell is just absolutely divine. And you're going to see it is going to be fantastic. And how easy was that to make? Okay, so I got a little bit of the souffle, and it tastes so great. It's slightly sweet, it's very light, very airy, really pillowy. I mean, you can really feel the lightness of it. It's really, really great. There's a very, very mild carrot taste, but it's really, uh, and mild sweetness, but it just has a really, it's really great. It's really, it's hard to describe it. It is so great. So, I hope you enjoyed making the souffle with us. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, click like, and I hope you'll subscribe and join on the journey for other episodes. And um, we'll see you next time. Bon appetit, and I hope you have a good time with this, because this is what I want to eat right now. See you later.